Good morning everyone. I'm going to do an extra reading for you this morning. Um, I'm trying to get my camera right here. Um, I just have a little bit of extra time and the, both the readings today sort of were talking about similar things. So I'm picking up a new deck here and I'm going to go for another reading because I'm curious now as to why both readings look the same. Why that happens that way. And sometimes they're different cards, but the energy still floats through the same way. So we're going to use the Pagan Tarot for this reading. Um, because I have a feeling something's about to happen here. And Four of Wands. So that's come out in all three readings. There you go. That's exactly what I'm talking about. There's a very strong energy here that something is about to change. So behind that, we have an offer coming in from a... Queen of Cups, so you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There's an offer here to move forward on something. Um, two of Wands, yep, yeah, to take you down a completely different path here. And a brand new start with the Ace of Wands. Okay, so I can't get away from it, people. The energy is really, really strong. No matter which way I look at it, every reading is the same this morning. So very strong energy coming through for all three readings. This is about taking a leap of faith into something for stability. So let's have a little look at this reading, see if it's any different. Okay, so I have the Page of Cups coming in here. So the Page of T Cups, Tups? The Page of Cups talks about getting an offer of love. It's a page. So very often that means it's only a message at this point, but it's something that makes things move forward. Nine of Cups coming in here. So this is about wishes coming true. You may have been waiting for this. You may have been waiting for a while. Um, but this is about your wishes coming true here. Um, Knight of Cups coming in. So we have all Cups cards. We have the Page, the Knight and the Queen. So you're definitely dealing with water. Definitely. For those of you dealing with water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Definitely. The other thing it could mean because you have lots of cups is this person is absolutely brimming over with love. Temperance card coming in here. We're talking divine timing. We're talking about having everything in balance and ready to move forward, vibrating at the right level. You may have been taking some time out here with the hermit to understand how to move forward. Three of Wands coming in here, which talks about waiting for your ships to come in. You've been very patient. The universe is now rewarding you with a brand new start in stability. Two aces coming through. Okay, so again, there is inner conflict. There has perhaps been conflict with this particular person in the past. There has been um, some sort of battle fought, but it's like you've got to this balance now. Wow. All similar cards. Knight of Wands coming in here. For some of you, this person was a bit of a fly-by-nighter before. Maybe a bit of a time waster. One night stand. You may have had a bit of a fling with them. This is why you're not sure whether to take a chance on them now or not. Very, very interesting. And we do have the Strength card coming out at the end here. So definitely that you are taking a different path here with a person. A person that's offering you something here. It feels like the offer's only small, but it will lead to a brand new start of passion and a brand new start in stability. This is going to be something that you are going to take a leap of faith on because I don't think this person has proven themselves to be the most worthy person in the past. They could have been an in and out person, maybe not committing, running hot and cold. I feel like you've tried really hard to either take this person out of your life or tried to forget them because they've caused you heart ache and pain. But now the universe is saying you're in a position now where you are strong. They are coming in because they see you differently. They see you as this person now who's strong and ready to move forward. So they actually... They've actually realized your value. But I wanted to do this because sometimes the energies are very, very strong for a similar thing. What this is all about is gaining your own stability. 
not so much about the other person. Nice to see them back. Nice to want to go out with them, whatever you want to do. But this is about you getting your own stability here. You're, you're in the vibration now to attract this person back in. The universe is showing you that you can manifest. The universe is showing you you can have what you want because you've put in the work. Um, for those of you who haven't got to this point, this is still in your future. But it's still about taking... Oh! I don't want all of those, please. It's still about taking this leap of faith, although the leap of faith card's not here. <coughs> it's still about you taking a leap of faith to move forward. Accept an offer from someone. Yeah, look, you've got the cards of trust to meditate here. I'm not even going to read them from the book. They're so self-explanatory. This is about trusting the universe on this. It's also about, that's the card we had last time, um, trusting the universe. They're bringing this person back in for a reason. You just have to trust. But interesting, we get the four of wands in all three readings up the front. <laughs> Beautiful. Thanks, everyone.